everyone and welcome back to my channel um sorry it literally looks like i'm eating my steering wheel but it's the only safe place i can actually put my camera holder so we're just gonna have to deal with that for a hot min i am currently on my way to bista village to meet my mum raquel aka rach the uh pod podcast sensation she likes to call herself these days just gonna have a little girly shopping day because we thought well why not? I'm really hoping I don't find anything I like because I know that sometimes it can be very hit and miss in Vista Village. Like, it's very much, you can either go and there's loads of great stuff or you can go and there's quite a fair amount of rubbish stuff. So I'm kind of praying for my bank account that it's kind of one of those days where I don't find too much. Uh, but we shall see. And do excuse the state of my fake tan. It, it's not okay. It's the first time I fake tanned in I want to say about a year and I have just reminded myself why I just shouldn't do it because I mean this actually doesn't even look too bad but if you were to take a closer look sorry but that's not acceptable it's embarrassing at this point and it's my hands why did I fake tan my hands if any of you got any tips on how you just don't make your hands look like well you've got a skin problem how are you all guys how have you been i'm trying to get good at, well i say this in every one of my vlogs and i also thought the other day like do i just really repeat myself in these vlogs like because i don't ever watch them back so i probably i forget what i say can you guys let me know if i just basically say the same shit or and have said the same shit for three years but i guess everyone does really don't they Oh, I don't know. I just don't know anymore. I've actually had quite a quiet week this week. It's been really quiet, which is why I'm going to Bista Village. And I am not good with quiet weeks. I'm really quite bad. It's because I don't have an office job, like a nine to five, and I very much run my own things. Some weeks, like you, you'll know if you're watching this and you're self-employed, like makeup artists, hair, stylist, whoever you, you may be, it's self-employed. Some months are really great and then other months, are just quite slow and I feel like I'm having a slow month which I haven't had a slow month in a while and it always freaks me out being truthfully honest I don't know why it freaks me out I just I'm not good at not doing anything not that I'm not doing anything but like I'm not good at being quiet I'm really just it's not for me I'm a bit I'm my brain works 24 7 as you can probably tell in these chaotic uh, vlogs that I do so when my brain doesn't work 24 7 and I actually have a week where I'm not doing so much I just freak out. I, I, I like being busy. I've also said this about a thousand times in my vlogs too. Yeah, catch you in a bit. Video. This is for my vlog, Mum. Hi. Hi, vloggers. Everyone. Or vlog watchers. <laughs> Mother Hall podcast here. Podcast sensation at Bista. We've decided to come for a nice day at Bista, as I told you all earlier, and um, it's raining. It's okay. The celebrities could go out in the rain. Oh it my just God. stops the masses coming up for selfies, to be fair. <laughs> everyone's got a hold. Everyone's got a whole brollies and stuff like that. Number six, by the way, in Funny Mummy. I'm mummies. surprised you're not wearing a cap. Odd casting. A cap and uh, sunglasses. Yeah, I know. But I don't mind at the moment because I'm not getting completely mobbed. Oh, she's found okay, her favourite yeah. shop. One of my favourite, and I'm with Fairfax and Favour. Oh, Welly God. Bob, Mulberry Burberry, Louis Vuitton, Mulberry. So I just told Mum that I got a blow dry yesterday, which you can't tell, which is a total waste for £40 because that's what they are in London. And she goes to me, 40 pounds? I would have done it for, for 20. 20. 20 pound price, everyone's a winner. You should do it for I me made for free, free because you're my mum. Yeah, she but. She's quoted me half price. <laughs> everyone's a winner. 50% off, I make 50%. 20 pound. So there you go guys, if you want your blow, hair blow dry by Ray, let she's me doing know. 20 pounds. <laughs> Yeah. What a bargain! Let, let, let me know if I'm wrong. Oh, I want to go in there. Right, we're going in there. Oh my gosh. Nearly being blown away. Ooh. Turn that off, right? Copyrighted. What 
a day a very successful shop i've got some little bits in the back i actually already started my christmas shopping which sounds wild but bista village for those of you who don't know where it is it's like near oxford and it's very it's about an hour and a half from london and you get loads of like big brands discounted it's like an outlet um an outlet place to shop and it's really really good so i managed to get some really good things for the boys for christmas um, my dad my brother and jordan don't tell them that they've actually got matching <laughs> which is kind of weird i actually still can't get over the fact i was walking around Bristol village with these hands these grubby mitts what am i going to do about this seriously can someone help me once i'm home i will do a little haul for you on the things i bought um just so i can show you guys what i got because i did get some really nice things i won't show you the presents that i bought the boys just in case they watch this vlog I'll show you the bits i bought for myself i was so close to buying a saint laurent handbag um which was like meant to be two thousand pounds but it was one thousand four hundred or something and i just thought i have love i have lots of lovely handbags and uh, i only like buying myself things when i've like actually got something to really celebrate and congratulate myself like if i've done a really cool job or i've, or I've just got i don't know you know what i mean like milestone milestones in my in my career and right now i don't have that so i'm not allowing myself to buy things that i don't need because it's just a waste and i have plenty of lovely bags so anyway i'm just telling you this so it makes <laughs> me feel better but um right i really need to go now and get out of this car park because i've been sitting here talking to the camera for ages and people are gonna start to think i'm weird sorry before i leave i'm just a bit confused are they all right in there it's just a random foot I don't know what to think about that. I have finally made it home and I made it home in one piece and I'm so proud of myself. The way I drove, normally I'm not the best driver but it was pouring down with rain the whole way to the point where I actually couldn't see a thing in front of me. I just, I know I'm gonna stop going on about it but I, I, it looks, it's getting worse. Oh my God. If there was a walking ick, I, I'm like, 99% sure this would be it. Oh, anyway, right, I'm gonna do a tiny quick haul and show you what I got in Bista Village just because I thought, may as well. Um, which actually wasn't too much and I'm quite proud of myself for it. So I went to this place here, which is the cosmetic company store. They basically sell like Bobby Brown, Mac, Tom Ford, Joe Malone. And I thought, I'm gonna buy myself some things in here because I don't need anything from in here in this store the amount of cosmetics this girl has my room upstairs is like your shop it's like space nk do you know what i mean like this girl couldn't have more stuff if she tried do not need it but i thought i'd get it anyway because it makes me happy and it's fun so yeah i actually to be fair i haven't ever had a joe malone candle before and uh, i haven't actually had a joe malone diffuser before and this smell amazing. It is the Velvet Rose and Oud one. So I thought I'd grab that. That can go. And it was £69 and it's meant to be 92 So that's also part of the reason why I bought it. <laughs> but I thought that would go nice in one of the bathrooms or um, the hallway. So grabbed myself one of those one thing i it doesn't obviously come wrapped like the joe malone stuff which is what i kind of love about it mainly the reason why i buy half the shit is because it's wrapped nicely and then i also well i sprayed this on me and walked out the shop and as i was walking down the road i was like oh my god this smells amazing i need to go back and get it so i rushed back and got it and it's meant to be 106 pounds it is the joe malone scarlet poppy and I got it for 79.50. This little one here. So I thought I'd give that one a try because it did smell really nice. Like once I let it go a bit. So, or is that mixed with a fake tan? I don't know. White Company is amazing at Vista Village. This sofa, we need a fluffy blanket for winter. We only have this one, which I bought from John Lewis, but it's not, when you're like wanting to get cozy, it doesn't, it doesn't do the job. It really just doesn't suffice. I need fluffy and cosy and warm and just, you know. So I saw this and I was like, you know what? I've been looking for a while and it's hard to get a nice fluffy blanket 
without it looking really cheap and awful. So I got this one, which matches perfectly in this room. It meant to be £160, but I got it for like 100 So I'm quite impressed with that. And I also think, you know these things, they're the type of, well, also I could use it for a throw on a bed if I wanted to, but even though we rent this house, these kind of things just go everywhere with you, like fluffy blankets and like kind of your home. Your little furnishings will go everywhere with you. And so yeah, I just thought, and it's so soft. So I'm very excited about that. I then got a new mat for the bathroom because we just need a new one. We've got, currently got a white one and it just gets so dirty really quickly. So I'm gonna put the white one in the spare bedroom and then this one's gonna go in our bathroom. So yeah, this was actually, this is meant to be 28 pounds, but I got it for like 16. So it's definitely worth it whilst you're there grabbing some bits because I would have bought that probably anyway. Bedding as well, they've got so much bedding, so many candles in there. It's actually quite good. And then I also went to Calvin Klein and I found these like pajama bottoms. They were like 50% off. Um, they, they were, yeah, they were 50 pounds and I got them for 25. And then I just got a little matching top or just like a little thing. Cause I thought that's just quite a nice little set for just lounging around the house in. Um, so I'm quite impressed with that. The top was about £20. So the stuff that I got was just presents for people. So I can't show you those, annoyingly. But it's amazing to if you need to go and get some things for your dad for Christmas or your brothers. If you've got brothers or your boyfriend. I bought the boys quite a few like little stocking fillers there. So yeah, I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm already getting ready for Christmas. And it's the 18th of October. I probably need to get a bit more of a life. And while we're here, I just got my Amazon package delivered. And I thought we'd open it together. As you can see, I'm doing this with such grace and decorum. Um, as always, oh, what did I buy? What the hell did I buy? Oh yeah, natural deodorant, guys because spray on deodorant and roll on deodorant is terrible for you. So I just do a natural deodorant. This is from the Natural Deodorant Co. It's by far the best one, as I've tried a few. So yeah, I would highly suggest moving to a natural deodorant and also more natural toothpaste as well, which we also use. These don't have fluoride in. This, the last thing I'm gonna show you, I got this idea from Tiff Watson. And you guys are gonna wanna get one of these as soon as I show you. If you're into cleaning and you're a housewife like me. Right. Just, right, bear with me on this. Whoever invented this is fucking genius. It is, in fact, a washing basket. You can close down and put it away. Because these things get in my way all the time. So, I will link this below because I think you will need one of these in your life. Thank you, Tiff Watson, for introducing something like this to me. I'm very, very grateful. <laughs> anyway, guys, I need to go now because I need to cook dinner and sort my house out before we have people around. But, um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>
all doing. It's been a few days since I went to Bicester Village um, and I've been super busy because over the weekend because Jordan's sister had a baby so I've very much been at the hospital with her just kind of helping her out and stuff. I have an event today and as you can tell my skin is totally and utterly it's just very angry right now very angry at me and it just won't go my skin is so bad at the moment and i actually don't really know what to do about it to be honest um i think it's my hormones i i but this is upsetting me i don't know what to do i mean listen i wanted to come on here and show you this because again we're, we're keeping it real we are keeping it real on this on this channel and um yeah my skin is just really bad right now um obviously i know that some people may look at this who struggle with their skin as well and be like oh em, that's not even that bad you should see mine but fuck for me i feel like this is especially when i have to go to events and obviously my whole my whole like thing is social media so i'm always on camera it's angry but you know what i'm just gonna put on some makeup which i kind of don't want to do because um I kind of want to let it breathe, but I've got this, I've got a really lovely event today where I'm going to lunch with Jimmy Choo. And I kind of just, well not actually Jimmy Choo, but <laughs> the brand. And I obviously can't turn up looking like this. So yeah, it is what it is. I'm going to do my hair and do my makeup now and just make myself feel so much better. And I've used this, which I'm hoping will help which is this paula's choice 10 percent thingy or whatever it is um i don't know if any of you guys have got any tips on skin uh i think mine's very much hormonal um i'm two on which is just stunning and i definitely doesn't don't think that that i think my hormones have just been like crazy right now so yeah bad skin day but we move lucky the fake town's gone now so that's one problem solved. Honestly, I'm such a mess. I'm just a mess. Fingers crossed this Paula, Paula comes in and helps this girl out. Wait, stop complaining now. Life could be so much worse. The sun is shining. I've got a lovely day planned. So yeah, I'm going to stop moaning now because I just sound ridiculous. So I'm going to wash, I'm going to blow dry my hair, put some makeup on and I'll catch you in a minute. Totally not, completely different subject. I bought this Jo Malone diffuser and it's the nicest smell in the whole entire world. I'm gonna link it below because I do feel like if you're looking for a present, housewarming present, Christmas present, or just to treat yourself, like I walk in my room and I like I put it in my bathroom, but like even in my in my spare room and my dressing room, I can I can smell it. So it's a really, really good one. Um strong but lovely. Oh my god, guys. <gasps> I'm actually speechless. The difference makeup makes. I, I actually didn't think I was gonna be able to cover them up, but oh my God, what would we do without makeup? I'm feeling so much better and so much more myself. Sorry, had a little like bit, a bit of a moment earlier. Um, I just think cause they were just so red and awful. Um, but I'm just gonna show you what I used because this combination has actually really, really worked to take the redness out. Obviously I need to still see a few. Um, but it's worked so well. So all I did was I put this on first. It's the Charlotte Tilbury. I think it's called like the Hollywood something. Um, and I've got that in a shade four. Then I used this MAC strobe skin radiant thing, which I've nearly used all of. And it is incredible. I have that in shade medium one. And I mixed it with a bit of the Born This Way Multi Sculpting Co Concealer. And this is a bit lighter, it's in shade Snow. So all together, the combination actually worked really well and it covered them up perfectly. Um, so I'm feeling much better now I've sorted my hair and my face out. All I need to do now is find an outfit. Um, I actually need to make myself some breakfast first. Well, I'm going out for lunch, so... Oh, I don't know. I just realised. I'm going out for lunch, so maybe I try not eat until, like, till lunch. I'm going to make myself a tea or a coffee to keep me going. But I need to find an outfit as well. Um, I've got a few hours to where I need to go, so I need to do a few things. 
at home first. But yeah, I just wanted to show you how well this worked. I'm very, very impressed. I'm feeling so much more positive and happy. cute event but obviously I've come home and jumped straight into a tracksuit this tracksuit is so old I don't even know if this brand's still around um and I look like a giant green berry that event was really really lovely we actually got some of these fragrances Ooh, mixed with my headphones the Jimmy Choo I want you forever fragrance and then the original one which is the i want you very sweet but really nice um fragrances so i can't wait to fully try those and i'm gonna sit and do some more work i have just done a massive amazon haul which i actually can't wait to i'm gonna film it once it arrives and do some stuff with it on my instagram as well but i've got like loads of really cool things from amazon i'm gonna clock off here and try and get this video out to you guys um but yeah 